what's up guys, so I just got done scuba diving Party Cove in Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri, one of the biggest party and hangout spots on the lake. Right now it's pretty dead because it's a weekday and the weather's not the best, but usually this place is crowded. Let me play some clips so you guys can get an idea. Cove. I ended up finding a ton of cool stuff here. Unfortunately though the visibility is terrible. You can only see like a few inches in front of your face so it would have been a wasted time to bring a camera. Instead I'm going to do a giant recap and show you guys everything I found. All right so I'm unloading all the stuff off the boat right now and this is only like half of it. I'm super excited to show you guys all the stuff I found but I'm going to go ahead and lay everything out really quick and then get back to you in a minute. So an hour later and I finally got it all set up. I can't even get everything in the shot I found so much. I found sunglasses, necklaces, fishing poles, cameras, phones, jewelry, and so much more. So before I go into all this stuff, I want to give you guys a picture of what it was like down there. So I was scuba diving in the middle of the main party spot, and down there I call it the wastelands because you can't even see the bottom. It's just covered in like beer bottles, cans, and so much other garbage. And it's kind of scary down there too because you can only see a few inches in front of your face, and every now and then I'll bump into something huge like a chair and that just freaks me out. I didn't even take everything guys, there was a lot of big stuff that I couldn't take like tons of anchors, trolling motors, chairs, and just a bunch of other crap. It's insane how much crap is down there guys. But let's get into the finds, we're going to start with the most boring finds in my opinion. So you can't even go like a foot without finding these, we got like a couple hundred Mardi Gras beads here, you can tell these have been down there for quite some time. The reason there's so many of these is because there used to be a bead boat that would go around selling these to everybody. And I guess people would just go crazy and toss them all over the place. But yeah, we got a couple hundred necklaces. This is definitely the most um, interesting one. I got a good laugh when I found this thing. I also found this, which makes me kind of suspicious of some of the other stuff I found. But let's move on. Here's all the tools and parts. I'm going to give a quick overview of everything. This is actually a giant magnet roller, which is kind of cool. I had no idea what this thing was, but then I noticed like some rust and crap sticking to it and... I'm a magnet fisher, so I'm actually going to use this. I also got this piece of an electrical cord, what looks to be a piece to a stove. I think this is a propane tank piece, a few bungee cords and straps, a rope, hammer, a knife thing. I think this is an antenna for a boat. I actually got three air pumps, one right there, and then this battery and a strap. This is all the miscellaneous stuff right here. I got two tubing flags. This one is actually in really good shape. The other one, not so much. I got four squirt guns, which are all pretty much garbage. And then I got this real estate magnet thing. I have no idea what this is. There's actually quite a few of these down there. I took one just to ask you guys if you know what it is, but yeah, no idea what that is. A Frisbee, a pan, a license plate, a firefighter helmet, this weird clown thing. Let me get a closer look at that. That was freaky to find guys, a marble. A plate, a tennis ball, two fishtails, no idea what these are, these are kind of weird. Some makeup, nail clippers, a Yeti lid, sunglasses, so this kind of goes to show you the crazy things that can be down there, like why is there a license plate and a firefighter helmet, that's so weird. Then I got some full drinks, I got three fireball things, Powerade and uh, body armor, which is actually one of my favorite drinks. I'm obviously not going to drink these, I just thought it was funny to find like full drinks down there. If I was super thirsty, I would drink these though, because they're brand new. Now the sunglasses. These are one of the more common finds. I probably got a hundred here. Look at all these guys. You can tell most of these are not in the best shape. They've probably been down there for quite some time. But the front row is actually the better pairs. I think I got five Oakleys. Those five right there are Oakleys. And then these three are Ray-Bans. These ones are not too bad. I can maybe replace the lenses, but most of these are pretty much crap. Still cool to find though. I got 10 fishing poles, which are always exciting to find. These, however, are not in the best shape, except for the one on the end. This one is actually fairly new. It's probably only been down there for like a week. And then a frozen kids fishing pole. And then the rest of these are pretty junky looking. I wanted to show you guys before I toss them though to make sure I'm not throwing away anything good. So if you see anything worth keeping, comment down below. Now onto the more exciting finds. So first off, I got a beer bong. 
Thought it was kind of funny, Bongzilla. I found plenty of beer bongs. I haven't found a metal one yet, though. Back here, I got an anchor. One of the anchors I did keep. The others were way worse than this, but I figured I could power wash this off and reuse it. Anchors are actually really expensive. And then two phone bags, which are sadly empty. Some electronics. I got four cameras. These are disposable cameras, I think. These two are actually the exact same, so I'm not sure if the same person lost those. And then a Kodak camera. And then this cool little Sony camera, which actually does have an SD card in it. It was in this waterproof case, which didn't hold, but the SD card did stay good. So I might do a video going through that, seeing if I could find the owner. Got a remote control. But comment down below if you want me to do a video going through it and seeing what's on this camera. And the reason I actually brought up this over here is because it says blah, 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 and a video camera. So I'm kind of concerned about what could be on that camera, but it would be interesting to do like a live video seeing what's on there. So comment down below if you want to see that. I ended up finding two phones, which are like one of my favorite finds. These have seen better days though. This is an iPhone 5, I'm pretty sure, but you can hardly tell, like look at that thing. The battery like exploded in there. That's probably been down there for at least five years. The screen came off. And it was actually inside of this charger case, a Mophie charging case, but that thing is completely destroyed. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that. Maybe just like scrap that or just keep it as a cool find. And then a really old Blackberry. It's definitely been down there for a while as well. And then I found a few IDs and bank cards, which I have flipped over so I don't reveal any private information. But I'm gonna contact the owner about these and see if I can get it back to him. And of course, the best finds, the jewelry. It's always exciting to find jewelry that isn't those Mardi Gras beads. Those kind of get annoying to find, but I found an earring. So I'm pretty sure it's just a junk earring, but still kind of cool to find. Like, I barely saw this sticking out of the mud. It was insane that I actually found this with all the other junk down there. And the best find, probably one of my best finds ever scuba diving, or without a doubt my best find ever scuba diving, it's this 14 karat gold bracelet. It looks silver. I thought it was silver at first. When I saw this, I was so excited. Like, I found it exactly like this. It was just laying on rocks. I can't believe I found this, like, with... All the other crap down there was insane. I actually managed to find this. But I was I was thinking it was silver. I couldn't find any markings at first. And then I saw like this clasp right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me zoom in. It says 14K AU Peru. So I'm pretty sure this is white gold. But that is insane to find. Like I would be excited just to find a fake bracelet. But I found a freaking gold bracelet, guys. Definitely my best find ever scuba diving. So that's going to be about it for my scuba diving finds video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more scuba diving videos. And also comment down below if you want to see me go through that camera. But that's about it. We'll see you in the next one. Squad out.